Now, it has been 26 years ever since the lead singer of Thin Lizzy, Phil Lynott, has died from a heroin overdose in 1996. So today, I'll be talking about the death of Phil Lynott. So, eventually, what I was really going to say is on December 25th, 1985, in his home in Kew, which is a district in the London broad of a palm paint. He was discovered by his mother, who was not aware for the disappearance of, hem of heroin. She contacted his wife, Caroline, who knew about it immediately. It, it's the problem that it becomes very, very serious. After Caroline drove him to a drug clinic at the Clouds House in East Cornell, near in Salisbury, he was taken to the Salisbury Infirmary he was diagnosed with suffering from septemia. So septemia is a life-threatening condition where the body's response to infection causes by injury, which has the tissues and or organs, and this initial stage is followed by supervision of the immune system. The common signs include the fever, increased heart rate, increased breathing fever, and confusion. Although he had regained consciousness and speak to his mother, the condition was worsened by the starting of the new year and was put into a ventilator. Unfortunately, on January 4th, 1986, just three days after New Year's Day, Phil Lynott died at 36 years old. Unfortunately, what I was really going to say is that people do abuse the drug like that much because, you know, it's like um, when people abuse the drug over here, um, it's a terrible experience and many people apparently um, do these kinds of things, you know? So what I was really going to say is that, yes, Phil Lynott actually did, did have his career back on track, but 365 days of missed opportunities, lost passport, and crazy deals. When the call came to say that Phil Lynott um, died, Finn, Lizzie, uh, fans everywhere went into shock and was devastated on the news. So Phil Lino actually died of a heart failure and pneumonia. He was in a coma for eight days after following a drug overdose. So Lino's last few days was launched by a drink and drug deficiency, leading to his collapse in Christmas during Christmas Day. So what I was gonna say is that Phil Lino did take a lot of drugs back in the 1970s. This is similar to Brian Conley from The Sweet. So Brian and Phil apparently did abuse the drug for no reason. Well, what I was really going to say is that the cause of death has got to be kidney failure. So eventually, Phil Lino didn't suffer um, kidney failure. So eventually, what I was going to say is that during that time in the 70s, a heavy drinking was involved in the UK. So apparently, what I was going to say is that Phil Lynott did drink a lot of alcohol. I mean, I really don't know why people would just do something like that, but eventually what I was really going to say is that in December, it was definitely his last debut in the television uh, interview series. So eventually what I was going to say is that Phil apparently um, did did drink a lot of alcohol, but it didn't stop him from trying to sing, you know? So fortunately, what I was gonna say is that Phil Lynott did collapse. Oh, he did collapse because he did suffer like heart failure, pneumonia, and infection to other organs. It was all aggravated by alcohol and drug abuse. So eventually, what I was really gonna say is that Yes, there was actually like drug abuse, you know, like drug abuse everywhere, you know. So eventually, Phil Lynott's funeral was uh, held five years late, five days later after his death. So eventually, it was shocking to think that Phil Lynott had passed away at just 36 years old. It was shocking back in 1986. It was a little sad. He would have turned 71 today. But, however, I was going to say 72, apparently.
if he was alive this year, he would have turned 72 and continued playing music around the world for everyone to listen to uh, Bill Lynott, you know? It was really sad to see that Bill Lynott did die of a young age at 36. When you see the videos right here saying that the singers died in the 70s, you could see that Bill Lynott was actually included here including the video which is the 120 singers who died before the age of 60. Phil Lynott was actually included in the video when, when 20 more singers actually did come from, from the video. So what I was really going to say is this. Unfortunately for that, I don't know much about Finn Lizzie. It's because I never heard of the band before and unfortunately for that, it's currently unknown if I have listened to that song in the past or maybe in the present, I guess. <laughs> but what I was really going to say is that, yes, my father has heard about Finn Lizzy before. about, But it's currently unknown if he has heard of the singer Phil Lynott or not. Because what I will just say is that this was actually the original lineup band before Phil's death. So what I was really going to say is that yes, Phil definitely did uh, did like so many songs that he apparently um, didn't um, do anything about this. But anyways guys, I think that's enough for talk, enough of my talking already. And um, this is me, Wheeling the Tomboy Gamer, signing off.